commented on it so I need a tiller extension and side fenders either those narrow cylinder things or thin tires I can't imagine I'm gonna find any thin tires around here or the cylinder ones to be honest I'll have to look elsewhere the next thing I've got to do is on my list. It is under their finished deck. Part of the deck finishing is this area around here. I've got quite a few of these. Obviously now I've taken off some of the gubbins underneath here. Some of these clips and things. They've basically bought all this stuff out. So um, I'm gonna go around here and take off some of this stuff and then Oh, cricket bat looks good, doesn't it? Um, and then I've got to go in with some car body filler and repair these holes. It'll take a couple of days to uh, repaint all of this stuff. But I'll get one load of paint on today. Things like that I'm going to keep. I'm not going to bother. I'm, actually, I might take that one off. But things like that, which are much bigger, I'm going to keep. I mean, it's in, you know, it's full of imperfections, this thing, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I can make my piece with a lot of this, but some of the bits, certainly the way they're over underhanging down here, the kids could catch their fingers on those bits. So I want to get rid of all of them. There's another one there. So. It's all these little things here hanging down. Okay, that's those two gone. Taking that one out as well, but I might have to punch that through from the top. See if I can make a hole out of that. Around here, I've still got to take off this old pipe. It's held on by some clips around here. Take off the old clips. I might leave that old fuel cock below thing on because I'll probably still keep the fuel cock down there somewhere. But these other clips can all go. Just that one last clip to get off. The filler I'm going to be using is P38, which is just a car body filler, but it's quite good stuff. This this hole here was the old hole used for the old um, stern light. I'm going to mount my stern light somewhere else. Well, obviously on the stern, but um, not quite there. Um, and also, this is nearly the lowest part of the boat. So as a result of which, all the water from the gunnels feeds down into that hole there and ends up on the top of the swim at the bottom there. So I'm going to block that hole in as well. Before I go in with the filler, I'm just going to make these the tops of these slightly wider, a um, bit more of a cone shape. It just means that the top of the hole with the filler is wider than the base of it. It just gives it more bite. And then underneath it, I'm just going to go in with this tape just to uh, stop it falling out the bottom.
don't need much. Go in with a little bit of a hardener. Sure it's well mixed. This stuff's really easy to sand, but I'm just gonna not make life too hard for myself. If I can. that one's been repaired I had a hole here which has been filled in this bit here was really eaten away so I put a bit of it on there and I see if I can sand it back and make it look any better than it was and there was another hole there so I'm gonna let this secure and then sand it all back and then see if I can get a coat of paint on it this evening and my rule is whenever I do something which is working towards that list on the whiteboard I can do something a bit more fun which is nothing to do with the list on the whiteboard and the thing I'd like to do is set up the lights inside these two wine lockers which I've now both nicely dried off and these are the lights that I'll be using uh, these are car running lights all day running lights the reason I like these is because they got these mounts on them where you can twiddle the angle of the light and also there's quite a lot of bulbs in there so it illuminates quite a you know a, a long space so it doesn't if there was only two or three you'd get a uh, much more definitive area where there's brighter light inside the um, wine locker which I don't want so that's what I'm gonna have two of those and a switch and a fuse well, this, this does actually form part of the electrics because I've had to take those two things off, replace it with that fuse panel there. And then I've got the cable coming through into the dinette, coming out to here. So I'll rig up those lights in a minute and then power that up into this. And then I've also labelled all the existing cables. So I'll take off all those old cable clips there's my red wine cellar with the uh, first fix lid on it already. Now, this is the second one. There's the lid on. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Gives a nice red glow to it. I'll paint that little bit up there. Manchester red as well so it kind of it all looks more red and I'll sweep it out a bit as well that'll help happy days yeah that looks great Brilliant. I know it's a little bit gimmicky, but that genuinely holds 20 bottles of beer in there. So it's nearly a whole case of beer. Which means I don't have to occupy all the space in Carol's cupboard. So it's, um, and it's quite cool to look at. Uh, I'm going to put a little switch in here, which is going to go underneath the uh, 12 volt socket. So you can turn them on and off because probably not going to want them all on all the time. Yeah, we're well happy with that. Dinette's getting wired up again. 
I've just got to trim the cables, but I'll do that tomorrow when I've got a bit more time. But for the moment, I just wanted the stereo to work, for those to work. I've made a plug in my phone. I'll just put a little bit more Bethnal Green on this area. Now I've sanded it all down. And I've done the same on these two spots here. So that one there and that one there, which was a hole. I've just got to sand that one there back. And then I shall go on the Bethnal Green. Yeah, that's covered up a tree. I've got to put a few more coats of paint on the gunnels. It's obviously they're a very high wear area, but that's superb. There were quite a lot of these areas, certainly towards, on the gunnels, certainly towards the back of the boat, where water basically just sat and had eaten away at the metal and it was just looking like the surface of the moon rather than sheet steel. Um, and seeing how this has come up, I'm tempted to go again, do, a, do the same on the kind of the more worse affected areas. that's really smoothed it off nicely. Check out what this area looks like now. I'm well happy with that. Which makes me think there are other areas around here that could do with the same kind of treatment. So it's all like pimply. And again there, and quite badly around here. Quite badly there. Oh, something's just fallen in a cup. Oh, I think that's my rope. That's okay, that's attached. So yeah, a few of these kind of pimply spots right there. That's all a bit ugly. Okay, so uh, I've got a secondary list. Um, these are other bits that I need to be doing kind of in this week here. It's kind of part of the engine service, but I need to change the oil, I need to clean the diesel tank, uh, and I need to check all the belts on the engine. So uh, yeah, a few bits to do there. I've ordered my hatch locks. Um, Solar panels I might pick up on Wednesday, possibly. Battery cables are here. Battery box I need to finish. Um, basically, the Pro Bats I bought have got a slightly wider casing, annoyingly, than the other batteries I've got. So um, I have to extend it slightly. Uh, so yeah, a few other bits and pieces to be done. And also a wash hand basin for this, uh, which needs to go in there somewhere. So yeah, loads to crack on with. Um, Paul said that he's probably going to do some welding for me um, maybe this week. Well, yeah, this week at some point um, we need to do it for the battery box. So the battery box needs to be cut, has, it needs to have a couple bits of angle iron basically welded on top of the swim to stop the battery box from moving around at all. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully that can be done this week. So that's another thing to put on the bloody list. Anyway, uh, I'm back to London now. I've got a meeting on the South Coast tomorrow morning and then um, I'll be back here at some point tomorrow to do... What am I doing tomorrow? Oh yeah, if my hatch locks come tomorrow, I'll do them. If not, I've got to do more work on the deck. But I'm well happy with how the um, how that P38 went on. Um, it's, made it, it's made it really good actually. So I think I'm gonna do quite a few repairs around there. It dries really quickly and it's all kind of straightforward. I've got loads of little bits of paint knocking around. So it's all quite easy to do that. Um, so that's another job for tomorrow possibly, uh, kind of if the weather's all right. So yeah, loads to crack on with. Until then, take care, bye bye.